Hey there, Star Soldier One back here again, and I wish I was talking under better circumstances, but yeah, maybe some of you have seen the news already on like Facebook or whatever, but yeah, we lost two legends today. Okay, first, Christopher Lee, you know, he died at the uh, amazing age of 93, like that's a long and historic life. Just a very storied career, like he was famous for his roles as Dracula and Lord of the Rings. And one of my personal favorite roles, you know, I know a lot of people don't like the movie, of course, but <laughs> you gotta admit, he was the bright star in that crap fest. Yeah, Star Wars, Attack of the Clones. Yeah, I just remember the first Phantom Menace episode one and how, you know, people were, you know, kind of iffy on it since, <laughs> you know, one of the coolest things about the movie was that Darth Maul was really badass in it. He had like the twin lightsaber and he was kicking all sorts of butt, but then at the end of the movie, boom, he dies. So <laughs> what are they going to do for the sequel? Well... Just hire an 80 year old actor to reprise the role, but man, did he ever make up for, you know, Darth Maul going out like a total, you know, punk. <laughs> yeah, because Count Duco, hopefully I didn't say that right, was, you know, so badass. When he faced off against Obi Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker, you know, it seems like two and one, you figure Count Duco will go down like, Nothing because he's 80 years old and, <laughs> but, <laughs> no, they didn't drop him out or anything like that. I know it's just a movie and all that, but still, it made, Christopher Lee had such a presence about him that he looked so intimidating, so tall, and such a demeanor, yeah, he, yeah. it was just amazing to see him. In that role and really run with it. Yeah, slicing off Anakin Skywalker's arm when he was really again knowing in that movie. <laughs> uh, it's a shame what happened to him in that was you know episode three you know but maybe that's when Christopher Lee really had to get out of the role because you know age was catching up to him so all right better write me off quick so yeah, and Ken Skywalker, you know, pretty much bumps off the character. And yeah, just leaves it at that. But still, he's pretty much saved episode two for me because of his amazing performance in it. And yeah, I do have to keep this somewhat video game related because this is a video game channel. You know, I know Jane Centennial Nerd, he's a big fan of the classic horror movies of the past. And it was so cool when you finish the game, Castlevania, that you get a little homage to Christopher Lee when they call one of the producers or something Christopher B. So <laughs> that was a nice little tribute to the actor. But, you know, they changed the name so they don't get sued. You know, Konami, they weren't super rich back then. But I think they wanted to pay some tribute to some of the classic movie actors of the day. By you know giving a little homage to that, so you know that's a nice little feature, and of course, yeah, we can't forget about Dusty Rhodes, who died at the age of 69, and ah uh, man, for a wrestler that's actually you know pretty high because sadly most that wrestlers die in their like 40s or 50s. You know, due to heart failure or error complications like that. But Dusty Rhodes, yeah, I remember him like last year. He was like the commissioner of NXT, you know, a very prominent voice, <laughs> you know, backstage and all that. Still working with the WWE and uh, just <laughs> when you see him, he just had such a commanding presence. Like, you know important stuff is going to go down when he's on your screen. And, of course, you can't forget about his two sons, you know. 
Dustin Rhodes, Gold Dust, and Cody Rhodes, Stardust. You know, one of the inspirations for, I think, Cody Rhodes' current character, Stardust, is the character Starman in, yeah, the legendary pro wrestling on original Nintendo. And yeah, there was even an article about that in a Nintendo Power issue one time. You know, before Nintendo Power went kaput itself. But, uh, Dusty Rhodes, you know, he was just a showman, you know? The way he do the final gamble and, you know, he wasn't in, like in the best of shape or anything, you know? Kind of like me. <laughs> I'm a bigger guy, but not in the best of shape, but that doesn't... Yeah, that didn't mean he still can't go in the ring. He still had like great matches with Macho Man, Randy Savage, Ric Flair, and <laughs> he was all over different promotions all and all that. You know, he was in ECW. He was in TNA Wrestling. Yeah, <laughs> that's when TNA Wrestling, you know, was worth a crap. And of course, you know, WWE. I remember when he finally made it over to WWE after working so long in the NWA and WCW that, you know, they gave him this weird polka dot gimmick and sort of like a rib on the guy. Haha. -ha. Uh, you're one of their guys. You're not one of our guys. So we're going to make fun of you, so to speak. But Dusty Rhodes, you know, <laughs> he said, I'm going to run with it. I'm going to make it something special. And I'm going to have some kick-ass music to come out with. Yeah, I remember he came out with uh, you know, a Sapphire at WrestleMania 5. And yeah, it, it's just hard not to like the guy that's a common man working for a living and stuff like that. And I can relate to that, you know, doing the whole 9 to 5 stick myself. And yeah, I'm just really going to miss both Christopher Lee Amazing actor, performer, and Dusty Rhodes, you know, excellent wrestler and common man. And yeah, you know, my hearts and prayers go out to their families and all that. I know they're not watching this video, but still, I just like to, you know, give my heartfelt apologies. Yeah, that's it for me. Okay, this is Star Soldier 1 over now.